All right, so you guys just saw some really awesome indie game developers here at PopCon. And let's keep going. Let's let's show some more stuff. I'll turn the game. And uh, you got some beautiful windows over here. <laughs> um, and we got, um, let's see, you got the, some more cosplayers out here. Um, some, uh, some famous cosplayers over here, which is pretty cool. And then um, there's a bunch of Legos back here, which is pretty neat. And I'll show you guys uh, the uh, podcast stage. So we're in the back of the, uh, the exhibit hall. And there's some Legos over there. You've got a lot of uh, all of your celebrity guests start here. And then they L to the back behind the podcast stage. Let's go to the podcast stage. Let's see who we can harass today if there's anybody. Let's see. Let's see what we got over here. So this is the podcast stage. They And I love that they put this stage in the convention. Um, this is where I believe it should go. Don't you think so? Yeah, it, it definitely should go here. Um, because they've always had it before, like out in the lobby, which, meh, I think it makes more sense to have it out here. So anyway... Um, it looks like this is the uh, the Brandon Peters podcast right now is what's uh, is what's going on so right now no let me see let me see what is she supposed to be I have no idea that's cool though that's pretty cool I dig it I dig it and then there's Carl a wild Carl running around. <laughs> He's just running around. I don't this. I got time for this. <laughs> but you got lots of celebrities over here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Still imp imp Empire Droid there. So they got the uh, podcast stage set up right around with the uh, celebrities circle around it. You got more guests over here. You got uh, the one and only Tom Arnold just kind of chilling. He's he's right there, and he's chilling. But uh, we'll continue to go over here. And uh oh, what you get? What you get stuck at? What'd you get stuck at? Oh, they got Star Wars Planko. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> That looks like fun. So, one dollar to play. Mando, small price Grogu, big price Stormtrooper, you missed. Thanks for playing. I do want to play. Here, let me, uh, I'll have you hold that. Even for Grogu, Yes! <laughs> you did! You got it! So which one do I get? Anywhere on the table. Anything on oh, the table? Oh, nice! Oh, man! Alright, let's see what we got. We got some good choices over here. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Um, I think... Which should I grab? One, so you should get to pick whatever you want. I, I think I'm gonna get one of the one of the figures. Yeah, go for it. Let's see who they got. We got Finn. We got Captain. We got Poe. I think we should maybe get Poe. What do you another think? Finn. They have. Don't know who that is. I think I'm gonna take Poe. Poe's a good choice, right? Poe's dope. Let's go, Poe. There we go. We won that baby. Nice. Won ourselves some Poe. Thank you so very Thank much. You. We appreciate it. That was cool. All right. So we won Poe, and uh, I'll put that on my back if you want to put it in. Okay, so we're back, and uh, we're just continuing to browse around. We got the five of first over here, all the Star Wars. Oh, 
Excuse me, guys. All the Star Wars things here. And then we got, of course, the celebrities over here on the right. Ooh, that's some art. We got some, that's some really cool looking art down there. I like that. Is that Boba? That is Boba Fett. How you doing, guys? We're doing great. How are you? Doing all right. Oh, did you see these? These are cool. Mm -hmm. Those are cool. Awesome. I like the Halloween ones. Mm -hmm. That one's neat. The faces look good. It's okay. Really, really yes, cool. I love those. Yeah, I like those the Halloween nice. autumn offering. Those are super cool. Look at these. If you like any of those, they're all five for four. That's amazing. Oh, that's not bad. I love the uh, the ghoulish looking SpongeBob over here. It's pretty cool. Those are super awesome. Nice. There it is. There you go, guys. Sure, check them out. And if you want to follow them on Instagram, you guys can go there. Yeah, because I, uh, I see a few. That you I see a few you want to buy, don't you? I <laughs> They're super Especially cool. Beacon. Look at Beacon. Beacon's creepy. Ooh. Eerie would probably be the better one. It's pretty, pretty eerie. eerie. Pretty eerie. Thank you so much. Let's keep, let's keep a rolling. In my pocket. Oh, I did? Oh, snap. And then we got Paranormal Crossroad. We do. How you doing? How doing good? It's good to see you. Good to see you. You guys having a good convention so far? We are. That's good. We are. So tell everybody what Paranormal Crossroad is all about. So my dear friend KJ. KJ, and I, yep. I know KJ. She's a good friend of mine. Yep. We go into people's homes that are terrified of the paranormal activity happening yep. there. Yep. And we find out who it is with our equipment, both old school and new. Yep. And we're finding out more often than not that it's people's loved ones that have passed. Sometimes generations pass. Yeah. That are just trying to guide them through life. Yeah. So we went to the live show you guys did. Pop, at PopCon last year. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. That was really interesting. It yeah. was very informative, too, oh, well, which I like. You. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of these shows, they kind of, you can tell it's mostly Hollywood, like, and they're Everybody's just trying to do it for the fame. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, but I want to be educated. You know what I mean? I want to learn this about this stuff. Well, we've got new events coming up. We're yeah, here we go. Do an investigation in spirit session. It, At the um, Indiana State Fair. Yes. Oh, wow. And then this, the Spirit Session and Spooky Tour of Masonic Lodge 666 in Irvington. I love that place. That's so cool. amazing. So that is That's my awesome. energy spray. You spray it on your body instead of down in the caffeine. And it's, no, it's got lemon. It's got uh, peppermint. That's some really nice uh, beads. Mary, question mark, but yeah. absolutely organic green tea. Yep. There's a list of all the products you can buy. Yeah, it's helpful. Mom is helpful to us. Priceless hundred bucks, I do. Yes, and I have just for con goers, a uh, ten percent off code. There you go. Carolworkcrossroad.com. And can they watch the show on the website? Yes, they absolutely can. Perfect. And Perfect. this fall, we will be on RTV Six. Oh, Here. hey. There you go. Thank you. I can follow you on Instagram. Yeah, I, we do. But I have to see your stuff, so I'm going to check and make sure. Don't you love a good algorithm? I know, yeah. Tell me about it. We get it. We get it. I'm not even going to try it. Yeah. yeah. Then if they see it, they see it. Yeah, yeah pretty much, right? But, um... Now, how long have you been doing paranormal investigations? And what, and what is your name? My name is Kitsy Duncan. Kitsy Duncan. And how I, long have you been doing paranormal investigations? Around 12 years. I started off with a TV show that's on Prime. It's called Oddity Files. There you go. It was yep. my son, uh, Carter, myself, and a family friend, Clayton Abbott. Yeah. We would investigate the most notorious haunted locations in the world. 
Um, some of them have been on those shows where they're all demons. Didn't find a single demon in any of the places. Um, actually, have found wonderful spirits. If you have followed me home. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So check out Oddity Files on yeah. Prime. And, yeah, now I make witchy there. stuff. I've embraced nice. my witchdom. Here we go. It's a self-care and beauty line. Oh, that's fantastic. A lot of okay. genderless things going on here, that's good. including... A love potion number 9.0. Okay. This is the hours collection because why do girls, why are the girls the only ones that can worry about wrinkles? I think boys and Absolutely. they should as well. That's right, yep. <laughs> and these we are age too, dang it. Exactly. <laughs> and I've got yep. room sprays here and this okay. I released at Popcorn. Ooh, let's take a look at this. What we got here? looking at that here on Instagram. Yeah, let's take a look this at this. This is my protection spell box. So we've got a, a rosemary bath salt with Himalayan salt and dead sea salt. Okay. No. That's one of my favorites. This is sage coated in dragon's blood for extra protection. Yep. This is a protection candle with amethyst crystals. Right here we've got obsidian and clear quartz. Clear quartz will amp up any other energy that's mm -hmm. going on in okay. the room. And this is a concentrated version of my get the smudge out. So okay. you can take it everywhere with you. It's sage in a bottle. Really? And it smells so much Does better. it really? Yeah. Okay. And then witch's bells right here. So the sound oh, of the bells wow. will help clear the room of negativity. Okay. And the bells and the and the spray is going to be wonderful for people who, like myself, have sensitivity to smoke or like the incense or the yeah. sage burning or something like oh, that's that. that's fantastic. Those are really yeah. good alternatives, especially when used together because they kind of help amplify you get me. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She she's all about that's that's. I've been following this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, and yeah. That's, that's why this that get the smudge out was born because my husband hates the smell. Yeah. Of burning sage. I'm allergic to incense, oh, so yeah. I have to be really mm -hmm. careful with like the sage and stuff. No, Palo Santo, I can burn. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and this is this booth smells really good by the way it smells great over here for real for real this is uh go the smudge to sleep which has the sage in it you need that so uh, but <laughs> i <really> do <laughs> essential oils in it that help you fall asleep crystals in it that help you okay. fall asleep oh man and it smells like grandma's house it is glorious oh, oh. oh. don't put me to sleep now kids yeah yeah <laughs> It's actually oh. a very zen... Okay, that's already calming. It's a very yes. calming smell. Which is perfect for cons. So if you guys feel yourself getting overwhelmed, stop by this booth, get get one of the yeah. smudge to sleep sprays. And just that is, that's like instantaneous. Or thatwitchbeauty.com. Oh. <laughs> Spray some of that on my pillow and just like... I do. I yeah, my dog yeah. My look at me if I forget. Like, mom. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so I have a question for you. How do you get into doing like paranormal? Like, like, because I personally, I lost my dad, um, my stepdad, who was my father. He's the man who raised me. Um, he was 52 years old. It was quick. It was sudden. There were no goodbyes. So it shook me to the core. Of course. Um, we moved down here. I'm from the region up north in Indiana. Okay. Moved down to Bloomington. Yep. He'd never been in this home or anything, but I sensed it felt like dad was there. You know how people have certain energies? Yeah. I grew up terrified of the paranormal. I thought ghosts wanted to kill you. Poltergeist, the movie, 80s, that was me. Yeah. Um, yep. So I started watching the shows, and while they're over dramatic, it showed me that they can't kill you. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what Well, I mean, there you go. So you got a little something good out of that. Yep. That's good. That's good. And then yeah. I, I ran into a, a paranormal investigative crew. Yeah. They invited me along. There's a lot of drama in that crew, so I branched off on my own. But the, the main thing I got from that crew is I walked into my first haunted location and felt at home. This this was my calling. Really? Wow. So it's been a long journey for 12 years to get here I and bet. to bring people closure in their grief that I needed when this all started. So So how did you come to know KJ? At a convention. Oh wow. Oh, that's pretty great. I mean, that's, that's fitting. That's fitting. Yeah. Absolutely. That's definitely fitting. So my, yeah. my son had heard her. As we know, she's got a very distinct voice. She really does. Yeah. And he's like, you have to meet my mom. She's a huge fan. And here we are a bazillion la years later. Yeah. Um, wonderful. That's awesome. Human and friend. Yeah, she's fantastic. She's so fantastic. Your guys, your guys' energy together, it's so organic. It's so natural. It's so real. And it's very genuine. 
there you go. It's That's a very genuine, yeah. genuine feeling. And um, it's also very like soothing and calming. Yeah. Like you can tell that you two are in it for the right reasons. And that really does, that energy between the two of you really does exude out. And it really helps to calm the people who might be nervous and not know what to expect coming into this time. <laughs> no, seriously. That's, I think, but that's exactly yeah. what I always get chills. But I mean, like, that's exactly what you guys do. Having been around enough famous people that I've met and stuff, you get those people that they're genuine about their work and they love to act, for instance, or things like that. And they, the fame is like, that comes with it. But then there's also those people that, oh, I mean, look at me. I mean, you're not that. You're you're the latter. You're you're more the former. The former. You're more genuine, authentic, and you want people. I'm to know. not an influencer. Nope. I like to inspire. That's yes. a good way to put it. I love it. That's I a great it. way to put it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Kitty, for letting us talk with you and. You so and uh, we definitely appreciate all that you do for sure. You have a panel today. At three, At three we're okay. bringing out the spirit box. See who maybe okay. you guys brought with you. Okay. I don't know. We have a friend here too. She's at another panel that she wants yeah. to come to with us too. So yeah. She's very highly. Um, she has a lot of energy around her as well. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, say, you. That's a good. Idea. Oh my she God, Christine's very high energy. Yeah. She's very she's high she's energy. Very she's, even when she's oh not my God, like high yeah. energy herself, she just she has a lot of energy. Around her. She yeah. really, really does. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you we guys. appreciate all you do. Oh thank you gosh. very much. I love it. And. Um, we, they, we got on video where you get where they can find you guys at. So, and if you're here at PopCon, come stop by. Absolutely, come yeah, stop by. Come investigate with us. Come yeah. And just unfollowed and followed you back on Instagram and start liking a bunch of stuff. That oh, way, you guys will you. show up. And yeah, there you go. I there you go. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. These look um, really, really cool. Those are cool. Oh, show those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're inspiration cards. Yeah. <laughs> Those and are nice. What I do is I, I choose one each morning, and it's kind of like a set my intention for the day. Yeah. But you can also do them as oracle card readings, um, you know, letting you know what you need. That's in originally your life. what I thought what they were was oracle cards, and then I saw that. I always try to recreate, recreate the the internet or whatever this you want to call it. might be my first set. Please do. Cool. <laughs> Well, thank you again. Thank we you appreciate guys. you very, very much. Guys, go check out Paranormal Crossroad. And uh, if you're here at PopCon this weekend, today and tomorrow, you guys will be here, right? Yep. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now let's go harass these guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's going on? Let's do it. How y'all doing today? Great. Mads, good to see you, man. How you good doing? Been, been a long good to time. see you, brother. Where's, 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 where's the star over here? Where's, she's too big for y'all, ain't she yeah, now? She's yeah. like, she's, I'm, she's got a too big of a deal. For her, <laughs> her husband, right? Yeah, yeah, right. man, uh, yeah. No, actually, she's, uh, uh, we're actually raising money for Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary up in Muncie. It's going to be a revolutionary new What is that? Rescue. Oh, there you go, Animal Rescue. Animal Perfect. Rescue that, I love Muncie. that. Many, many acres. It's going to have anything and everything yep. uh, for all the all the rescues. That's and fantastic. The Circle City Ghostbusters over there yep. are helping raise money for yep. that rescue as well. Yep. So she's over there uh, helping out with that when she's not moderating panels <laughs> as well. Yeah. When she's in the main hall most of, most of the weekend. So for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yep. So, so what do you normally do? Uh, you're the you're, it says pro, pro, producer, huh? Yeah. yeah. Your patches. Yeah. 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 yeah um, man. I kind of do a little bit of everything with Jana here. Um, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just I do it all, actually. Yeah, she really does. She's the big star. She's I really am. the star, you know. Yeah, very important. She's the one that doesn't have the ego, but she knows that she's a queen. You know. You know, yeah. <laughs> Her crown, you can't see it, but it's invisible, yeah, but it's there. Yeah, yeah. Patches is our tech guy, so yeah. anything technical that's going on, that is it. That's right, that's right. Yep, yeah, absolutely. it's always good. You always got to have somebody like that, you know what I mean? not, you know, blowing up the tech. He is fixing it. He's the yeah. one lurking in the shadows. Uh -huh. You don't really, you know, he's, you it's know. It's been really weird. I've had this weird energy about me. It, every time I've stepped in the studio the past couple of weeks when we're doing the KJ Today show. Yeah. It's, the tech stops working. Yeah, literally. It's the weirdest when thing. When you're there? Yeah. I, I, everything's fine. I'll walk in the room and something's so, going to start printing. So, that was, uh, so when was your last episode? Uh, this past Wednesday. And that was Matt's last episode. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> that was his, 
last episode <laughs> right? of the show. No. <laughs> uh, so tell us about the KJ Today Show. How long that's been going on? Well, uh, five you, weeks. Yeah, five weeks. Five yep. weeks. Just started uh, on May the fourth, so it was a perfect oh, May the fourth. Be with yeah. you, yeah. Launch the KJ Today Show. That's perfect. Uh, we've okay. had guests like uh, Tom Arnold. Uh, yeah, Haynes will be on the show this coming week. Yeah, I saw Wednesday. that. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Peter we've had Pacinelli. yeah Peter Pacinelli, Rick Springfield, the great. Pat oh man, yeah, Rick. I saw the Rick Springfield. That was super cool, yep. man. Yep. So yeah, that's just, pretty awesome. Every, anybody and everybody talking pop culture. If you've ever listened to her when she was on the Smiley Morning Show. Oh, it's oh just, yeah, that's where pretty much. A lot of people know her from. Yep, exactly. Yeah. This is, it's, it's kind of taking it back to, you know, if you want to watch it live on all the socials, you can do it every Wednesday at 7. Yep, and there you go. Goes, then it goes right up the next day yep. to where you can listen to it just like you did on the radio. Yeah. Definitely going to check out the Peter That's oh, awesome. Peter's so, <laughs> so great. Like, she had me um, edit it for, like, yeah. Shine 99 and for the show. Yeah. yeah. Immediately goes into a story of how he got pulled over in his motorhome in Indianapolis. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I'm my God. Like, God. Anybody doesn't know. Oh, know really? Yeah. Oh, okay. He was the Dr. Cullen. Yeah, but KJ today is going on for five weeks. Pets, positive vibes, people to know, and pop culture. I do the pop culture, which is mainly just me talking about whatever TV show I, I like that week. That's so, awesome. Yeah. What are you liking currently? Uh, well, I just sat in on the Yellowstone panel, so... Yeah, you know, it, I've awesome. heard of that show. It's, I have not um, watched that show. Oh, my God, it's amazing. What's it comparable to? Is it comparable to anything? It's kind of its own thing. Like, it's... I heard someone say it's like Cowboy Mafia. Like Cowboy if, Mafia. Like, oh, if like if you're into this, that's an interesting like, description. It's like okay. Sopranos on horses. Like it's just mm. you know, instead of the mafia, it's ranches. Yeah, like in <laughs> Wyoming, basically. Like you want to? Yeah. It's in Montana. Montana, Wyoming. It's Montana. It's Is it different states. families? Uh, no, so it's just the dungeon. Because I say, it's like Cowboy Game of Thrones, right? Like, yeah, the family. <laughs> <laughs> family uh, the, family, uh, the Stark Ranch, Ranch, and you got the. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I mean, we all want to see Jon Snow on a, on, a, on a horse, right? right? I mean, we have, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> instead of, a, instead of a, uh, the red wedding, it was, uh, they're out there, it's a duel, you know, right. they're like going at it. Yep, high noon. Okay, make that happen. Whoever's listening, make that make a show like that. I would and totally watch that. There's That's a cool. lot of fighting on Yellowstone. Are there? Oh how many? God. You know how many seasons are in right now? There's four right now. Oh, there's, there's four only, deep already. Yeah, wow. Okay. Season five right now. So okay. I can't wait. Any other shows besides Yellowstone you're uh, into? I just finished Stranger Things. Did you watch it yet? I have not finished it. Oh we're on episode uh, six and seven right now. Oh. We have. We're on the last two. Seven is where it all goes down. Oh, oh my god. Seven How do you feel about the longer episodes? Do you like the longer episodes? I like them. I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Because, like, the first episode, I started watching it at, like, I don't know, like, 6 o'clock on Friday night. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn, is this not over yet? Like, I mean, it's good. It keeps my attention. But I'm like, I feel like I'm watching a movie here. Well, like, you, well, you already know how long the last two episodes are. Yeah, it's like it's like a it's like two movies. Yeah, like literally, it's like two and a half. Hours. Yeah, I was like, so I'm gonna be watching. And they don't even know what the season. The, the show isn't even over yet at that point because they got one season left. I know season but, five. Yeah. yeah, I know. So I can't so, wait to see what they're doing. And granted, I quit it in season two. But, but it's so good. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, it's man. So oh, let's see. I on season three. oh. Yeah. And season three is my I favorite. I love the mall. That was that was super cool. Like, yeah, I'm not super invested. I don't really remember too much of it. Yeah. So I missed the episode one of season four, and I was like, hey, I'll sit in there with him while he watches it. Yeah, she's super uh, into it. Like, oh, yeah, so yeah. Sucked in. So yeah. Fantastic. I love it. Yeah. The photography is great. I mean, just so many nods effects. to classic horror movies. Yes. Oh, I freaking God. love it. Have you guys watched Obi Wan yet? Yes. Are you caught up? Are you caught up? Caught up. Bro, that Dude. third episode was so I, I good. I just got goosebumps when just thinking of yes. the red lightsaber coming out. Yes. I was like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yes. no spoilers, but yeah. it's... it's That's in the previews. Super it's awesome. In the, yeah, it's in, it's the, in the previews, so yeah. We know that's happening. I will say that, you when know, um, I didn't think about it when we started watching it, but it makes sense now how Leah would know who Obi-Wan is in, in the very first Star Wars movie. If you think about it. Well, Without so getting into in, the, into in the, it, but yeah. In the message, uh, 
in, in her message, you serve my father in the clothing wars, blah, 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 like, she doesn't, yeah. like, there, he wouldn't. She doesn't actually say she has a direct connection to him, but. Exactly. But what's, when, what's going when, on? When they rescue from the Death Star, I'm yeah. Kenobi, Ben Kenobi, and it was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's like, all right, yeah. there's that validation there. Yeah. So. But no, I, we were talking, actually, we were talking about uh, on the on the KJ Today show last week with the Star Wars, or it may have been the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. It was probably Kind of Nerdy Girls. It was Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. How they casted this young girl to play a young lady. Yeah. Was spot on. Absolutely. I want. I hope to see some kids, like some young daughters dress up right. like that, because right. that's going to be the new... That better be the new cosplay we see is little Leo wandering oh, around. That would be, that would you be know fantastic. what I mean? That yeah. Would be absolutely fantastic. But you guys, if you haven't seen it yet, you gotta watch the show. It's yes. super good. Um, they and I, I loved the uh, the recap, man. Don't yeah. skip the recap on the first episode. It, it was great because mm. dude, you, you did, didn't you? I, don't, I haven't watched. You haven't it. watched it. Oh, it's so good. But the seen, recap, you don't don't skip that she first has recap. Watched episodes one, two, and three. So she okay. did it out of order. That was our introduction. Wait, to Star it up, okay? wait, 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 wait. When did you first start watching Star Wars? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey! Where did you get that? Yes, you did. Oh, look who it is! Hey! Where'd you win that? I won it from the Brandon Peters show over on the live podcast stage. Hey. I answered a trivia question wrong, and they still let me win. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. no losers at PopCon. That's right. Everybody <laughs> wins at PopCon, That's baby. right. <laughs> yep. So this, this lamp will be in the next KJ Today show. That's awesome. Yeah, they were telling me all about your, your new show. How's your new show going? It's going great. I mean, it's better now that I've got this Black Widow lamp, so I really think... <laughs> it's not a lamp. It's a trophy. That's a trophy. <laughs> That's a trophy. I feel like I need to march around. Tom. Oh, my God. <laughs> So yeah, so tell us about tell us you know yes. what, what what can they expect when they watch or listen to the show. So um, if you ever have uh, you know heard me on the radio, it's like my radio show, but you finally get to watch the chaos happen. Oh nice! So it is a full hour of positive vibes. That's good. We talk pop culture, people to know, and pets. So we have cool guests like we have Peter Facinelli from Twilight. There's Jackie. On. Yep. Yep. Tom Arnold. Uh, I saw you had Rick Springfield. Oh, my gosh. Was Rick's that a good one? That was a good conversation? He's so great. Do you know he's a huge nerd? He's a huge nerd? No huge way. Nerd. He has. So I was, like, all prepared, like, tell me about your Star Wars collection. And he it, I mean, it said, well, I'm selling it. I'm like, oh. Oh, no. But, like, he has. He kept a few of, like, Oh, I can imagine things. that he's got some pretty well- um, Rare yeah. stuff. He's a, yeah. he's a big sci fi fan. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. So That's he's, cool. he's one of us. If he wasn't you know busy right now, like playing his guitar for Screaming Lady somewhere on tour, he would be a pop guy for sure. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. So, where can they? Uh, where are where can they listen or watch the show? So if you go to YouTube, our channel's KJ Today. Okay. If you have been a, a, a fan of the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast, yeah, uh, we combined everything together. So oh, gotcha. The KJ Today show. All right. The Kind of Nerdy Girls. So All right. The Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast still. That's cool. But then okay. we do the show live on Wednesdays. So oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. So That's YouTube. Cool. Or Facebook, we have a lot of people that are watching it live on Facebook. Um, but it's That's you know Wednesdays at seven o'clock. If you want to watch the chaos of live, can they listen to an audio only version as well? Yes, they can. Is that on pretty much every podcast platform yeah, known to man? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Pretty much at this point. Oh uh, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I say. Just whatever podcast platform, just go go find us. If you go that's to cool. a podcast platform and you can't find the KJ, KJ Today Show, let me know and I'll. Put and they will make sure to get it on there. I will put it we'll there. try again. Yeah, it absolutely, be on. absolutely. But it's really just. Um, I'm all about like finding a way to have fun through it all, and that there's so much yes. out there right now in your news feed and in your life that's not positive. And it's like, yeah. let's take one hour a week and find the good. Absolutely. There's too much negativity out there. Yeah. So we're about bringing yeah. positive vibes. That's good. Yes. That's good. And have you been Have happen. you been enjoying PopCon so far? I've been loving it. Yeah. It's good. What do you think about the setup in here? This is kind of nice. I like how things are. I I do too. Set up this year. Yeah, I do too. It's it's a nice little flow. I'm glad they put the podcast stage Isn't in that, that's a in great here. 
place. I, I've it. always felt that that should be in here. Yeah. It's put yourself around everybody. Weird when you were out in the, in the little the lobby, court, right? in the food court. Like, That's where no it was. No one really cares that I'm talking. They just want their pizza. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sorry to bother you. She knows. You. I'm, sorry to bother you while you're I'm trying to get some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Really like that. That's, so I do. I hope that's. Uh, I hope that stays. I hope that's a thing that they keep because, and I actually like where it's at. Yes. Because it forces people to listen to the show because they're standing there waiting for us. You have no choice. <laughs> you can go get pizza somewhere else. That's right. You ain't getting pizza in here. No. No. <laughs> no, it's great. And the guests here. Um, I moderated the Yellowstone panel. This is one of the first times I've been to a con where I don't really know any of the guests. Yeah. And that's fine. I don't have to know the guests. Um, because, you know, I know it's like mostly it's Yellowstone, yeah. which is cool. I've not watched that show, but I've heard it's pretty good. So. Right. Yeah, that's what yeah, she was telling me. is obsessed with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I haven't made it very far because, so you're not on a ranch, right? So there's of course. horses and animals. Yes. And sometimes bad things happen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, actually, when they announced that the Yellowstone guys were coming, I was like, we got to watch a show, man. Like, we got to watch a show. Yeah. So, if you are sensitive to the, you know, animal stuff, yeah. Kevin Costner, in the first 10 minutes of the show, maybe even five, puts a horse out of its misery. It's the right thing to do for the horse. But yeah. I'm like, hey, we got to watch this show, and he can't, like, handle You can't do the. He's never seen that's it. not for everything. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, that's hard to watch. And I, and I know, and I get it, and I respect it. But it's hard to watch. But I yeah. can't see it. Yeah, it, it sends me. That's like when that's like we were in the we went to a panel, and yeah, and and they were, it was an obscure gaming panel, and one of the sounds was like that sound a dog makes when it's like in, in pain. I hate that sound. And I was like, oh, the poor dog. Like I hate that man. Oh. I literally got walked out of the theater when they. The new one? Yeah, the new one. I've not seen it yet, but yeah, I think I know what you're talking there, about. There, there yeah, that's like. I literally got up a I have my line where I'm like, that's my line. Like, yeah. I can't. Even, even magical creatures, I can't do it. I'm a big softie. Just, I'm that's like, okay. Yeah. He's just a big teddy bear. That's all it is. As sensitive as this guy is, imagine me sitting there going, we need to watch this show. It's going to be great. And Kevin Costner's like, Boom, and I'm like, I am And you so had no excited. idea. You didn't know. Yeah. So you couldn't prepare him. Like, there was there is there any warning on the show? That, that, did they warn yeah, that? I mean there's like Because I know I'm some like, shows are like, okay, this is a warning. Cause you know, did you watch Stranger Things? Uh, I've seen the first So you you remember the warning they put out yeah. for the first episode. Yeah. They were like because of the school the yeah. thing that happened at school. And they were like, Yeah, this just happened, so we didn't know. Because it's bad. Yeah. There's a lot of like Children that are, okay. yeah, we're yeah. yeah. Oh, so God. yeah. Oh my God! Wait until you see the last episode because you find out all about that first scene. You find out all about it. I can't wait. Oh my God! It's so good. I'm so excited. Definitely, definitely gonna go home and go home and watch that. Okay. And I, I asked, I asked her, what are some other shows you've really got into lately? Um, well, I mean, I'm loving Obi Wan. That's what that's men are talking yeah. about. Oh yeah. It's, Oh, good. Right? You're caught up. You guys are now all caught up. So I didn't know, and I didn't got really. Again. Like, uh, yeah, 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 dude. I didn't. Absolutely. I didn't know what to expect because I tried to avoid anything about it. I uh, yeah. Just let it be. Yeah. Um, but the fact that we're getting more storyline of Princess Leia, like she was my first like hero, you know, and that yeah. little girl is that little girl, girl is. Perfect She's for that role, so man. Perfect. She nails it. She I nails that just role. Incredible. And then it w wasn't it weird to? Is it okay if I do a little spoilery? Thing? So we're gonna do a little spoilery spoiler. So just don't want to listen to this part. Just let you know, fast forward. But go ahead. I, mean, I feel like you have to know with Obi Wan that oh. there's gonna be some Darth Vader. Yeah. It was just so weird to hear new words out of Darth Vader's mouth. Like, when you've watched Star Wars so much, you know everything Darth Vader says. And I'm like, that's a new sentence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my God. Saying. New dialogue. We're getting yeah. new dialogue. And it was cool that James Earl Jones. So cool. Yeah, yeah. He's 91 yeah. years old. Did you know so, that? I, no. He, dude, and yeah. And it know. sounds exactly the same. Right. Like, that's I didn't know he was coming mind. backward. I'm like, yeah. that's the same. That's like, exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, they kept a lot of people that are in here, like, under wraps. So wow. did you see the... Um, 
the news story that came out that when Hayden Christensen pers- first put on the armor, the cast and crew rushed the stage because they had to see him in it. Oh my god! I just got chills. Oh, I got chills again. Oh, dude. Look at, look at that. Oh, man. But, um, and, and just seeing you McGregor back, it's like he just put it right was, put, yeah, put it back like on. He just stopped filming the but you know what? Faster. But you know what? It, it made no sense to us. What's that? And this is another thing. <laughs> so he's in hiding. Yeah. Why the hell is he looking like a Jedi while he's while he's hiding around? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna cosplay as a Jedi. But nobody's, you know, you're not looking for me, right? I'm the most popular one. There, yeah. <laughs> He's got the Jedi mind trick. Yeah, that, he's, it's, it's on at all times. So gotta you don't be. see me in these robes. That's got to be it. The robes you're looking for. That's got to be it, yes. yeah. Yes. That was a little weird, and then I did have that moment, which you have to sometimes, you know, suspend your Yeah, suspend your bil- disbelief. Where a I was bit. like, yeah. oh, he's got the Dumbledore thing going on, where like something real bad happens in the next like 10 years, and he ages. <laughs> Can I warn him he needs some to start moisturizing now because yeah. things aren't going to go well. <laughs> 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 things aren't going to go well for you in about six to seven years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Bye. Well, KJ, it's so good to see you. Thank you. Good to uh, see you. As always. Thanks for having and me. And definitely, guys, go check out the KJ Today Show and uh, give it a watch for sure. And, it's, uh, uh, you know, we're, I'm hoping that we build a community. Yeah, people absolutely. Together, do absolutely. good things for the show, help each other. Bring, absolutely. If I can't bring you positive vibes, maybe you can bring someone positive vibes, and we'll all make the world a little better. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Give, come here. Give me, give me a hug. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. See you guys. All right. We're back. So we're continuing to walk around. Um, and show you guys more of PopCon Indy. And um, as you can already tell, there is so many things to see here. At, uh, at This is just the vendor hall, y'all. This isn't even like all of the con. There's, there's panels out in the uh, other rooms here. Oh. Um, it's definitely Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ton of people here. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Let me let me let me pause. All right, there we go. I'll stop. <laughs> Lots of uh, art and such here. Lots of uh, authors, artists, designers. And, and many, this is the stuff that we really like to see mm-hmm. when we come to, <clears throat> excuse me, when we come to a convention. Uh, I know we, we talked about that earlier, how we really enjoy seeing um, stuff like that. <laughs> it happens. It, it happens. What's over here? I don't know. What's over her? I don't know. What's in the treasure chest? Buttons. Lots of pins. Is it pins? Yeah, they're pins. Those are cool. Yeah. They have some nice little uh, plants, too. Those plants are really cool. They're, they're trying to see your shirt. So oh, yeah. So My shirt so slaps, good. doesn't it? This shirt does. <laughs> uh, how much are the dice? Oh, they're 30. Oh, they're 30. 30 and they just glow. They oh, that is cool. They glow dark and they glow. You want to show that on the camera? Yeah, I, I am dead, yes. yeah. So if you like what you this see, really guys, cool. I love the way you, do you can go there. You guys are on Twitch? Oh, yeah, I'm, on, I'm gonna be on Twitch. I'm gonna do VTuber stuff. You're gonna do what? Yeah, VTuber stuff. VTuber stuff. Ah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. We're also on Twitch too. So, okay, yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck. For sure, you're welcome. I won't take this card. I love this booth. It's really cool. All right. Awesome. Thank you. You guys have a good rest of your con. All right. Let's keep moving. And uh, let's see. 
This is what my wife does. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I told him I was like, I get so distracted. He's gonna yell at me. <laughs> I'm not gonna yell at you. <laughs> I will not yell. I promise. Not right now. <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Coincides. Coincides. So you, you got it now. That was the word. Gotcha. Gotcha. So there you have it. That's part two of The Con Man. That's my new series here on the domain as I will be going to various conventions, walking the vendor hall, and trying to show some other things at conventions. I want to thank PopCon for having us come out to cover their event. And I will also be providing a review on our website in my Pros and Cons Convention Review Series. You can go check that out later this week. It'll be at the domain gpce.com. And uh, thanks to PopCon, the staff, the volunteers, the vendors, and everybody else for helping make this convention happen year after year. This was the ninth year of, of PopCon. It's just insane. They started from a as a Kickstarter Back in 2014, and here they are today, still successful as always, and I hope that their success continues. I hope they continue to grow. And uh, in the description below, I've listed all the vendors that you can see all throughout this uh, video. So if you want to go find them and check them out, please do so. I suggest you do. And also, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of PopCon if you attended this weekend. We definitely do read our comments here. We respond from time to time. Let us know in the comments below if you also have any suggestions uh, for PopCon. Put those down in the description below. Until then, uh, until the next convention or next video, I'll see you guys. Take it easy.